Animals migrate for a number of different reasons, for example to find food, breeding grounds, to escape harsh winters, and much more. For years it was a mystery as to how they did this. Originally scientists thought that animals took cues from the environment to migrate, such as the sun, the moon, the stars, etc. Discoveries. It wasn't until 1957 when Hans Fromm, a German scientist, had pet birds in a cage in his house. He noticed that in the fall they started crowding around the southwest side of their cage. German birds migrate southwest to Spain in the winter time. Hans Fromm noticed that his birds were not exposed to any stars, moon, sun, etc. So he decided that what makes birds migrate must come from within them. It wasn't until in studying fish, similar to my pet fish here, that scientists found magnetite in their olfactory systems. Where scientists thought that fish migrated because of their good sense of smell, they were actually using the Earth's magnetic field all along. Decades after Hans Fromm, another German scientist, Wolfgang Wilchskull, confirmed all speculations by placing birds in cages surrounded by electromagnetic coils. The birds would detect the magnetic field and use it to orient themselves accordingly. This research is very, very new and not even close to being completed. It is a race among scientists all over the world to pinpoint the who, what, where, and why of this phenomenon. Magnetite, or Fe304, is a very magnetic metal. We all know how magnets work. All magnets have a south pole, and all magnets have a north pole. And opposites attract, so the south pole attracts the north pole, and the north pole attracts the south pole. All magnets also have a magnetic field. A magnetic field is the area surrounding a magnet where the magnetic charge is present. Let's use this magnet for example. Let's say that this is this magnet's magnetic field, meaning that all of the area within the field is where the magnet, magnetic, magnetic charge is active. Let's use this magnet to demonstrate. If we put it close to the magnetic field but not in it, it's not affected. Whereas if we put it in the magnetic field, it will be pulled towards the magnet. This concept is used in migration because there are giant pieces of iron ore randomly embedded in the earth. These pieces of iron ore have giant magnetic fields. The little animals have tiny pieces of magnetite embedded in them that is either attracted or repelled from the giant piece of iron ore. The magnetite then either moves towards or away from the iron ore, causing the animal to try to move with it, which causes them to migrate. So many different animals use the magnetic field. For example, sea turtles, bumblebees, fish, whales, birds, butterflies, fruit flies, snails, frogs, and so many more. With so many different animals comes so many different uses. For example, some types of bacteria have been found to use the Earth's magnetic field to locate and get to the layer in between the mud and the water where they thrive. Humans in the magnetic field. Like everything it seems, humans have managed to ruin the magnetic field. Some studies have found the background electromagnetic sound that humans make is confusing to animals that use the magnetic field to migrate, making them not know which way they're supposed to go. On the bright side though, there's also been research against these findings. It's just an example of how new and ongoing this work really is. Now you know! This research is so new and still ongoing, it is important that young scientists like you learn as much as you can about new research. Science is constantly evolving and there is more out there to learn than there ever has been. Guiding Star Inc. would like to thank you for your time and we hope that you learned lots and had as much fun watching the video as we did making it.